anti-armor combat has always been a headache for infantry, even today when portable missiles and rockets are relatively common. In fact, soldiers on the battlefield do not always encounter main battle tanks and other heavy armored weapons. Many times, they encounter vehicles such as infantry fighting vehicles and armored personnel carriers. Therefore, a lighter anti-armor weapon is needed, and the SLAM of the U.S. military is such a weapon. SLAM stands for Small Lightweight Attack Munition. It is essentially a weapon that combines anti-armor mines and target demolition. It has the advantages of small size and lightweight. The SLAM weighs only one kilogram and can be held with one hand. It has too little explosive to destroy targets through detonation. Therefore, it uses a self-forging fragment warhead similar to the TM-83 anti-tank mine. Its principle is somewhat similar to a hollow-charge warhead. However, instead of producing a metal jet when detonated, it squeezes and forges a semicircular metal plate into a long rod, achieving a similar effect to an armor-piercing projectile. The projectiles formed by SLAM can penetrate 40 millimeters of steel armor at a distance of 8 meters. There are multiple attack modes. When engaging vehicles, bottom attacks and side attacks can be chosen. This means placing the munition on the road surface where the target vehicle may pass, similar to a regular landmine, or vertically mounting it on the roadside where the target vehicle may pass. The munition can be detonated using passive infrared or magnetic sensing, giving it a set-it-and-forget-it capability. In fact, SLAM has four detonation modes. In addition to the two mentioned earlier, it also has timed detonation and wire-controlled detonation. The self-destruct program has three settings, 4, 10, and 24 hours. The self-destruct program can also be used as a timing fuse. The relevant timing operation port is located on the back of the munition. Once the munition is set, the anti-tampering program can be activated. If someone tries to disarm the munition, it will detonate. However, the anti-tampering program is not available in wire-controlled detonation mode. In timed mode, the munition can be unlocked and disassembled by setting the time to 15, 30, 45, or 60 minutes. SLAM has three models, M2, M3, and M4. M2 has a pure green appearance and three self-destruct program settings, 4, 10, and 24 hours. M3 is a model with only wire-controlled detonation mode. M4 has a green shell and a black warhead. It is not much different from M2. This type of munition is designated for use by airborne troops, air assault units, rapid response units, and so on. As a portable munition, SLAM is very useful for units carrying out special missions. A combat team can carry multiple munitions, which can be used to demolish aircraft, armored vehicles, ammunition boxes, fuel depots, and other important targets. They can also be set up along evacuation routes to block enemy vehicle pursuit. By setting up multiple munitions, the destructive power can be enhanced. This weapon will be very dangerous in wartime. SLAM is currently in production. Last year, Alliant Tech Systems Operations LLC in Minnesota received a contract worth nearly $93 million to provide the SLAM series munitions and corresponding training equipment to the U.S. military. This contract is expected to be completed by the end of June 2025, which means that this equipment will be in active service in the U.S. military for a long time to come.